Hello, I'm Dan DeRocha and this is Baker's Insight. Today we're going to take on one of my favorites, sourdough bread, and to help us, our test baker, Chris Hull. What we're making today is, is a seeded bread, it's called sunflower flaxseed. We're using white flour, we're using a portion of whole wheat flour. Okay. We have flax seeds that have been soaked overnight to bring out some of the flaxseed oil. Obviously water, salt, our starter for fermentation, and also toasted sunflower and sesame seeds. The, the main overriding feature of sourdough, and what most people really want to focus on when we're talking about sourdough, is the starter. Okay, it's, it's uh, basically capturing the yeast that naturally occurs in the air, in the flour that you use. The main function is for the leavening of the bread. Okay, the, so, the, 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 the rise, the rise. structure inside. Correct, to give the bread the volume that it needs when you bake it. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of variations of a starter. Okay. You know, what people will use a starter for is to highlight different flavors, okay, different uh, volume. The starter that I prefer to use is, uh, I would call it 100% hydration, equal parts of flour and water. Okay, and you can tweak that to what yeah, you're, so I mean, your, what, whatever flavor profile you're looking for. Sourdough seems to be kind of like a variety of things that you can do and, and each element with a little bit of variance you can change up your flavor profile and maybe add something a little bit different to your lineup. Exactly, I mean the type of inclusions you use, the type of flour, fermentation method will add some different characteristics and also the shaping of the loaf, whether it's for sandwiches or just loaves for table bread, you know there's a lot of different ways you can develop that. The scoring really is to allow the bread to expand. When it expands, you need to release some of that gas. So by scoring it, it kind of gives a weak point to the dough where it can kind of open up from that point. In the baking process, there is a few things to keep in mind. Typically, we use a, a deck oven. When you bake, you're also using steam in the oven. The steam helps to keep a moist environment even while it's baking to allow for that expansion of the dough and also to give you a nice crust. We baked it at 460 degrees Fahrenheit for about a half an hour. The first 20 minutes we had with the vent closed and the last 10 minutes we had the vent open to let the bread kind of brown and the crust to harden. Okay, so we're back. We got final product on the table, but we kind of glossed over a bunch of steps. Let me see if I remember everything here to just sure. recap. Uh, so we scaled ingredients, mixed. Then we had a bulk ferment, then we folded, then we divided and shaped. Correct. Then we retarded overnight, but you can proof or the retard phase. Right. Then we baked. Sure. And that's sourdough in a nutshell. If you have any questions about the ingredients used, the recipe, the mixing instructions, the baking instructions, please visit ericarecord.com. Thank you.